the Keynesian school of thought was motivated by the economic crisis of the 1930s, a crisis that the classicists had failed to predict and that was unthinkable in their model of the world. This theory is often described as the revolution of economics. It departs significantly from the neoclassical school, although, unlike the Marxian school, it rejects neither liberalism nor the capitalist system. Keynesianism differs from the neoclassical school in three respects the method, the problem, and the solutions. Although John Maynard Keynes, the founder of the Keynesian school, was a supporter of democracy and capitalism, he considered regulation by the market to be imperfect and therefore inadequate. Keynes challenged the existence of automatic mechanisms regulating economic activity. He also stressed the need for state intervention in order to correct permanent equilibria, with one of the most obvious examples being the underemployment equilibrium. The Keynesian school of thought is based on three assumptions, which we will examine in the following screens. These are a macroeconomic approach, which is considered to be essential, an underemployment disequilibrium, and the return of economic policy making. The fundamental difference between the Keynesian and neoclassical approaches is the analysis framework they employ. Keynes considered macroeconomics to be essential and complementary to microeconomics analysis. Keynesian theory develops macroeconomic function by macroeconomic function, rather than market by market. We can represent the logical flow of Keynesian analysis in a model diagram. The consequences of the 1929 New York stock market crash were devastating for the labor market, creating a high rate of long-term unemployment. Keynes introduced and defined the concept of involuntary unemployment as an economic situation where the adjustment mechanism for the cost of labor leads to a persistent excess of labor supply over demand. The unemployment disequilibrium is the result of the principle of effective demand. According to Keynes, the law defined by the classical economist Jean-Baptiste Say, known as Say's law, as we saw previously, is not always valid. Entrepreneurs, in fact, need to adapt to household demand. So, effective demand is the sum of expected future sales. It determines the level of actual production and is the sum of three components. Final consumption, investment and exports. Under Keynesian theory, what are the determinants of investment? Indicate the correct determinants from those proposed. Great, that's the right answer. Under Keynesian theory, the determinants of investment are the interest rate and the marginal efficiency of capital. Does Keynesianism reject liberalism? Congratulations, that's the right answer. Keynesianism rejects neither liberalism nor the capitalist system.